Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Kotlin video. Today we're gonna talk about dependency injection with uh, Kotlin and we're gonna use coin uh, for it. So let's uh, dive into it. So I have a project here in idea and I'm gonna open my idea and we're gonna take a look how coin works uh, we're gonna run some code and also do some testing but before we need to take a look how we deal with dependencies right so here in my pwn.xml i have all the standard things to have kotlin up and running i made a specific video about this where i cover in detail if you want to take a look there um but specifically here what we need right is um it is coin uh, dependencies, right? And to get there, um, we need some repositories, right? So I add the Google, Google Maven repository in JCenter, right? That's one uh, different uh, thing. And also, um, let me see where did this? Uh, yes, so here you can see here. I'm adding the dependence on coin, all right, for tests in JUnit, right? Um, what I'm doing here is not like the ideal practice, right? Because I am adding the test library and using that as a compiled dependency. It should, should be test and then I should be isolating and only getting the, the core part of the, the coin uh, library. As you can see here, core coin, right? Uh, but uh, I was lazy, blame me later on. Um, but yes, so when you do this in production or seriously in your projects, uh, don't, don't do that, uh, right. Dependence management matter guys. Right. Um, and, um, that pretty much, um, pretty much it, uh, in sense of a dependencies, right. Um, then let's see how coin works, right. Coin is very minimalistic. It's pretty cool actually. So, um, we have a class, uh, inside of that class, I create a module, right? And a module, there's a DSL for, for that module, right? And then you can define singletons or factories. There's a bunch of things you can do. So here I'm saying, okay, I, I want to define this, uh, singleton, uh, string, high coin DI. I also want to define this, uh, data repository. Uh, and if if you take a look here, uh, I have um, a type system um, dot Kotlin file right dot kt, and I have three classes here. I have a data repository, I have a presenter which has a message, and I have my presenter which overrides the message and extends uh, presenter. So that's with defining a bean. You see, it's very short, right? Very concise and clean. Uh, the, the, the comments and the spaces make it bigger than it is, actually. This is very, very nice, neat, and concise. And then uh, the sign a factor here of presenter, right? And then um, my presenter uh, has a dependency, if you take a look here, right? Um, well, dependency on a message, right? So when we are calling get here, saying, okay, figure out a, a string and, and shave it there. And here we have a string, right? So we are injecting uh, this string here by this get already, all right? So that's that's our module. Um, and then on main dot, um, dot kt, we start coin, right? And then we have a coin application. This print logger is to enable the default logging with these properties, you can set any property in line you want. File properties to load or properties like, for instance, have a coin that properties here where I'm setting a server URL. You know, I could set other properties there. Uh, environment properties says to load environment properties and then you, you load all your modules. I just have one module, which is that module you guys saw it here, right? Uh, but you, you, you could have more, right? And then you, you call dot coin and then you're gonna have a coin, coin application actually. Then, if you want to get beans, um, you know, uh, you do uh, coin.get, right? And then I'm going to get my presenter here, and then I get my presenter. 
um, you also can make this dynamically. So for instance, I create a, a class here called answer, and the answer is 42, of course, um, and then I instantiate the answer, right? And I can simply do coin.declare, and I shave the answer there. And then I can get it. I ask, okay, coin, give me an answer, right? And you're gonna get an answer there. So it's, it's very easy to also inject beans on the fly. This is something really cool. Um, finally, let's take a look on, on the test, right? And also we're gonna run this uh, application as well, right? So in the test here, it is also very easy to test. So um, we are extending coin test, right? And um, there is a test module here because in testing, uh, production and tests often, you know, we want to use different modules. So I define a module here. I define my single string and also define a presenter here, right? That uh, is looking for a string with this get here. This string here will be injected on the get. Um, then uh, we have a, a component here that we want to inject, right? And I want to get, uh, I want a presenter. This is the type, this is what I want. And then I just say by inject, all right? And, and this presenter will be injected for me. Similar like in Spring, you have like auto wire by type. Um, then I have a test here. Uh, and this is another cool thing. If I use this uh, um, character here, here on the beginning and here at the end, um, I can uh, give spaces, right? And give like a fluid name for the test. Then what to do? Well, start coin with your modules, right? So in one line, we see we start coin. Very, very easy, easy peasy. Uh, then I'm starting to see if, okay, did I get a component? Did, did this injection here actually works? And if it works, let's print that guy, right? So let's start running the tests. And you're gonna see it works. Yeah. There we go, right? Uh, it passed and you can see the instance of the presenter, pretty cool. And we also can run the main application. Yeah, and also your, you see this is very, very fast, right? Uh, and also say it uh, like in three milliseconds, in low three beam definitions is very, very lightweight. Um, and I see here, because um, if you look here, was getting a presenter and, and printing the message of the presenter, right? And you see the injection work. And here is the dynamic being where we create the answer and we got the answer, right? So yeah, that's coin, lightweight, easy to use, uh, pretty nice project. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.